Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ancient Mystery. They say all things fear time, but time fears the pyramids. And older still than the pyramids is the Sphinx, described in a medieval Arabic legend as the Terrible One. There is so much about the Sphinx we do not know, including that which may be revealed in an old photograph. When I saw this picture, my eyeballs were popping out of my head with wonder. This picture, taken in 1941, reveals just so much of the Sphinx. And I just wonder that, haven't people seen this before? Haven't people seen the stuff before that I'm about to point out? First, let's point out the obvious. The Sphinx is in its little valley, its little well, and here's the bedrock around it, and there's marks, erosion marks from the rain washing off the plateau into channels and dripping into here. We see the same stuff here. We see something here. I think that's different. This was a an arm. The shoulder should be here. Do you see all this stuff here? Do you know when this was done? This is not some modern renovation. This was done in the Egyptian period, the ancient Egyptian period. They say that's Middle Kingdom to avoid, uh, to, to sort of match the theory that this was built in the Old Kingdom and therefore eroded by the Middle Kingdom. But actually, that's probably Old Kingdom. Bit of polygonality here as well. That looks a bit Old Kingdom to me. That looks like the Mastabas around Giza. Lots of this is New Kingdom, this sort of stuff, Ptolemaic, Greek. Here we have a Greco-Roman restoration because the Romans used these long, flat little bricks. All of these restorations are ancient. And all of them make this object look like an animal, look like a lion. It seems they thought the ancient Egyptians, for most of their time thought this was a lion. And here you have even more weird stuff. Look, there's some kind of room here or shaft. And here there's another one. It's unbelievable. It's weird. Why is the shoulder starting halfway up? I mean, it, it should be there. And that's what I think. This is, that's the arm. Even more weird. Do you see this slope? The slope actually pauses there and it continues there. That's on the same angle. So this slope actually kept going. This doesn't belong here. It was plonked on top. I'm going to prove that in this video. It's Look, it's even a different color to the rest of the Sphinx. It's a different type of rock. These are blocks. And this has been plonked on top in probably the Middle Kingdom times because that's a Middle Kingdom pharaoh as pointed out by Robert Temple. He also points out this whole thing is a dog. I've spoken a bit about that in my book. This, just briefly, this blows away anything. I made this full of footnotes and references. This blows away anything the Egyptologists can do. It refutes all their work. Basically, Lost Gods of Giza, i.e. Origin of Pyramids, Worldwide Pyramids, and the Lost Gods are Worldwide Gods. And I've talked about the Sphinx in there as well. The ancient Egyptians did think the Sphinx was a lion. Look at those claws. Look at this. It's, it's so weird. I don't know what's going on here. There was a beard which was attached. I think the whole head was attached. It wasn't recarved, as Robert Temple says. The old head was actually destroyed and a new head was built. Well, just mind-blowing evidence and information about the Sphinx there. Our satellite is coming back in. Let's cross back. And Robert Temple is probably, I think he's spot on the money by saying it was, well, I, I think it's carved blocks in the form of Amenemhat II of the Middle Kingdom. It, it basically looks almost the same. Same ears as on the Sphinx. And he says it was a dog. I think he's spot on the money again. It was a dog. It is guarding this is how dogs guard. They, it is guarding Giza as a kind of totem. 
I mean, cats cats just rest like this. That they don't guard. Cats are in their own world. Dogs are man's best friend. They guard. It is guarding the entire complex. This is a sphinx of Amenemhat the second again, and the sphinx could have looked something like this. This is the now eroded wall, or it was probably eroded in that time. And then there's a lot going on. The tail was... Look, this is a fiction. This is all bricks. It's nothing to do with the original structure. The original structure was in a... I think, I think it was in a swamp or something for thousands of years, and that's what caused the erosion. It had to be inside a swamp. It really did. And the ancient Egyptians didn't know what this thing was. They turned it into a lion because they worshipped cats. But the pre-Egyptians, the worldwide civilization of the Stone Age, worshipped dogs. And I just want to show you guys this. I think this is all modern restoration, but I'm not sure. Look, this is why the head cannot have been recarved. It had to have been built. Firstly, it's a different color to everything else. And another thing... You can almost see a, a sort of seam. It'll become more apparent in another picture where the color changes. In addition, the head is actually wider than this. If it was recarved, why is there zero er erosion here when there is all this erosion here? The, the body is so skinny compared to the head. That head should be much smaller. This must have been added. And if this was added, I think that was added as well. The head was added too. This should be way smaller if it was carved. Otherwise, the previous head would have been absolutely enormous. This was simply built on top of that. And there's the seam right there. Look, you can see it. As plain as day, there is a seam. And these are, these are just huge blocks which have been carved out and placed here. This was placed on top and annealed with some kind of geopolymer or some kind of cement in the Middle Kingdom. And back to this unbelievable picture. It's, it's truly unbelievable. Now, for those who think it was done in, in the Old Kingdom, following what Wikipedia says, like it couldn't have been. You have all this erosion here and you have no erosion on the head. And that makes zero sense at all. Something was done here. Something was removed. I'm not sure what that modeled structure is. If someone knows, let me know. But you'll notice this is following the slope of the body here. The previous head would have gone up like this. It would have been absolutely enormous. Here, there's something else happening. I'm not quite sure. Something's come away or something's been replaced. If you look at this, look at this here. You see that and that there. These could be relics of the earlier paws of the Sphinx. Guys, thanks. Well, truly remarkable scenes there. That's all we have time for, unfortunately, in tonight's episode of Ancient Mystery. Join us again tomorrow night for another trailblazing episode as we delve deeper into the unknown. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you.